A few day to day methods of pratyahar are taking digital detox, enjoying meal, uh, enjoying a meal or two in total silence or simply stop talking for a while. Uh, taking digital detox is the modern day vrat or upavas. What is that? We decide once in 15 days or once a month or once a week uh, or maybe 6, 8 uh, uh, hours during the day when we keep ourselves away from all digital uh, instruments and ways, digital ways of being connected with the world. So, we do not use Facebook, Instagram or do not check emails, do not take phone calls. We can focus, we can do whatever we are doing, but without uh, entering into, without using this, this electronic media to get connected with the world. That is, that can be a very simple pratyahar in the current times, enjoying meal or two in the total silence. We can experiment that, we can decide that at least one meal a day, we will be taking in total silence. So, we will keep our attention on tasting the food and keeping the attention either on the breath. This can be a very relaxing process. I invite you all to experiment that right after this lecture, whatever me that you can take that in the total silence. Just focus on the food, on the taste, on other sensations in the body as you are taking food in or keep your attention to the breath while eating your meal. This can be a simplest pratyaha which we all can do being fully busy in the professional life. Another simple method of performing pratyaha is simply not talking, keeping maun vrat for few hours or few days you will be surprised to reflect after Mon Vrat that how much, how many unnecessary words we speak and we can assess that how much energy of ours, energy in the form of thoughts or energy in the form of our words, spoken words is actually a waste which does not add any value, it only dissipates our energy. So, this is the simple pratyahar we can perform in our day to day life which is full of action, which is full of engagement in the professional activities or in academics. Through the integrating shamanic and Upanishadic view, Sri Yogendra who established one of the first uh, yo uh, yoga center in Santa Cruz in Mumbai. Uh, along with his disciples have made a remarkable contribution on the meaning of pratyaha, which is, uh, which can be very well related uh, to the modern world. He writes that it is a deconditioning of mind from its customary activities towards internalization. Our mind is habituated for something, habituated for certain kind of food, habituated for the certain kind of thoughts, thought patterns, actions, hobbies, entertainments and so on and so forth. Self growth, managing growth, managing self, growing in our career, managing our career which results in joy requires many of our customary activities, many of our habits to be changed. Can we change our habit directly? just by intention, very difficult to most of us. How we can prepare our body and mind to change our habits for the better and when we say our habit, it is not only about hobbies, it is not, in, not only about action, changing of the habits is also changing of habit of our mind 
change of the habit of our food, how we can prepare ourselves to change our habit? Pratyahar is the answer. There are three practices we can look at. First one is Shavasana. It is classical Indian yogic technique. It is combination of the two words, shav means corpse and asana is the posture. How to practice that? The classical hatha yoga literature actually does not provide detailed instruction on how to use the technique and hence the instruction vary between the teachers and the requirements of the students. As a meaning of savasana is a dead body posture. So, that means the body should be as far as possible tensionless at the muscular level at the passive or pranic level and it must be relaxed at the mental level. And how we can do that? We can do that by performing yoga nidra. Yoga nidra means psychic sleep. It is a state in which you are neither asleep nor awake. If you fall asleep, it is not yoga nidra. If you remain awake, then too it is not yoga nidra. If dreams overtake you, it is certainly not yoga nidra. Yoga nidra is an amazing state in which there is an awareness of the conscious, subconscious and unconscious field of your mind all at one time. So, it is perfect therapy. It removes many psychological abnormalities and sanskars and help us to become more normal and natural self. It is practiced by moving our attention from different body parts to others, there is a systematic process, there is a step by step process, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar ji, uh, uh, Sri Jaggi Vasudev ji and uh, uh, Swami Niranjananand ji, all three great yoga masters and the gurus of current time have put up the protocol of yoga nidra on the YouTube. I will encourage all of you to look at and follow the instructions from there. I have seen hundreds of people who just by following these instructions given in these YouTube videos of these great masters have experienced yoga nidra. Ideally, it should be followed by asanas and pranayam and in the yoga nidra YouTube, you will get those instructions. So, first you perform your asanas. And you remember, we looked at what asanas are more appropriate for what type of prakriti. Perform a set of asana, perform set of pranayam and then go for yoga nidra. The technique though is best learned from guru, not because of any religious reason, but uh, many a time when we are not practicing it under the direct supervision of the guru, our ego takes over or our choices take over the real process and we begin to end up falling asleep or thinking about other things. So, in order to control our flickering mind, we need a guru. So, yoga nidra combined with shavasana can be a great pratyahar practice. Systematic yogic relaxation happens naturally in the shavasana and the yoga nidra. So, it moves from relaxation of the body, then relaxation of the prana or life energy and relaxation of mind. So, the step by step process of yoga nidra, in fact, uh, uh, Mung, Bihar school of yoga Munger uh, and the Swamiji uh, named Swami Niranjananand ji who is currently leading that school, it is a great school, uh, one of the most reputed schools of yoga. He has released three sets of yoga nidras, yoga nidra for the beginner, yoga nidra for the intermediary and yoga nidra for the advanced practitioners. In all three, you will see the systematic relaxation of the body, life energy and mind. You can take help of that. Preksha dhyan, which is which has uh, come from the Jain tradition is also excellent method for pratyaha. It is propagated by the great Acharya Tulsi, renowned uh, spiritual leader, he has been a social transformer. The term means to observe and experience the internal psychic and vital functions in order to regulate them. We do not focus on regulation, we just focus regulations naturally happen. 
It is quite similar to western biofeedback technique, the difference being that biofeedback technique is carried without any gadget, while preksha is done with the help of individual consciousness and willpower. Uh, like yoni nidra, preksha also has a range of techniques for both beginners and practitioners and it has to be learned under the guidance of the guru and this uh, YouTube video is given, YouTube link is given, you can uh, learn more about.